do some uh, striking before lunch to get Epitize running? No. We'll build up on what we did and we'll do punching anyway. Oh. <laughs> Keep walking towards your partner. He can push you with the leg, he can push you with the hand, avoid the punch, avoid the move, and continue. So he can reach out, avoid the punch, don't get damaged, and continue moving. As casual, as natural as possible. That's all. Because so far, we had a problem stopping right here. Okay? Stop, tension, you're missing time. If you just continue moving just a little, you have much better control of the situation. Agree? So, let's try that. Any, any attack. <coughs> deal with the hand, deal with the leg, but continue yourself moving. When you attack, go for a body. Go for a push. Trying to get the grip, pushing with impact. Before you even start, stand still and ask your partner to push you with the feet, with the hands, and stay as tall as possible. Okay? So he's pushing you any way he wants. Allow him to push you. Yeah, and see how your body moves. Once you realize you don't get tense up, excited, jacked up of the reaction. Start moving. Same thing. Do whatever he wants and move on your own. Make sense? Couple minutes. Move from his random attacks. Legs, arms, doesn't matter what. Respond, move. And every time go to the body. Don't go nice. Yes. Every time. No, no, no. Straight to the target, yes. And yeah, check how honest he is. From time to time, stop. And let him yeah, feel, feel the flesh. And move. Move, 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 hand doesn't matter. Okay? But when you work start with five times slower. Okay? So you survive. Move a little further. Oh, don't rush. Okay? And stop him right there. Okay, once again. Don't recover. Stop right there. Don't recover. Okay? So from where you are, that would be the easiest target for you. Every time you attack tension, you have better results. Fine, don't go all the way. Survive. Stop right there. Realize. Remember, Jan gave a bit to say, that's where you end up. Again, slow, survive, move, stop. So, take into account his stance, his position, his inertia, your position, and realize what would be the easiest way <laughs> to continue. Capture the moment, what is the weakness of his position now? Look where your body is. If you have, remember your position, walk away, take a look again, you can touch him, see where he stands, and realize somewhere here from where you've been will be the solution. Time. Because if you have to come back readjust, you're missing all the time you can get. You want to postpone his move and realize somewhere he is weak. It's different every time. Memorizing these techniques makes no, no good. So going slower allows you to realize what windows you're creating or you're using. The slower you go, the better. Okay. Different part of the track. Okay. okay, sorry, I almost died. Instead of just allowing him to move, move slower. Push. Mm -hmm. See how you can affect his, the way he's moving. You just bought yourself even more time because now he had to recover. Next time? Yeah, and how to go from here you already know. <laughs> it's engaging part, that's what becomes tricky. And you buy yourself even more time to respond. <laughs> Allow your partner to go slow, literally that slow. Allow him to deal with your lower body. If 
you can move out of the way and stretch this hip. You can move out of the way and break his leg. The choice is yours. You decide. You want to allow him to continue moving, or you don't. Timing becomes very important. That's why moving slow allows you to practice it more efficiently. Make sense? Yes. So now with the new partner, again, random doesn't matter what roundhouse kick. Eat hard. I don't care. <laughs> <laughs> no, literally. <laughs> Seriously. <laughs> Muscle on that part of the back, pretty strong. And you sprain the area of contact. Eat hard. I don't have to move much, right? Now look at this. Oh, jeez. <laughs> yeah. One, two. So before your foot even goes on the ground, it can break in twice. <laughs> okay, great, great. No, I'm not breathing for you. You want to get <laughs> For the next minute, don't you move your feet. For lunch. You really want to look at his eyes. Don't move your feet. You mean don't move my feet for what? Don't move your feet. Okay. Shoulders. Trapezius, a lot of tension. It doesn't mean you train, you don't train, you can sit all day long, you can be nervous. It's this area is hardly ever get relaxed. It's very hard to relax it. And for a punching purpose, it, it's a great target. It's a very easy target. Okay? Now, scary, man. <laughs> <laughs> now, what I'm going to ask you to do is yeah. help your partner to relax. Remember this breathing, stepping we're doing? This is similar, but a little more uh, dynamic. Uh, careful the spine. Okay, you're working. The uh, lower bone are easy to get broken. I'd, be, I'd be relaxed if I was doing it with anybody else. <laughs> you want to go back Yes, you will. Uh, careful. Actually, the sand will be at the... Same went through the roof. Ah, thank God. <laughs> <laughs> I'll get back to you in a second. <clears throat> Most of you went to the punching before. Okay. Uh, make a fist and relax your arm completely. Uh, think about your arm as a dead blow hammer. You know what that is, right? <clears throat> Heavy arm. You simply drive it in your partner trapezius. Away uh, from the collarbone and don't direct the impact toward the spine, okay? You can have different purposes. Right now, uh, in the vertical plane or outside of the shoulder, and you can direct the hit pretty much anywhere. Because it's tense, it becomes a conduct conductor for a pain, okay? Uh, if you strike heavy, not hard, heavy, your partner will have very different feelings which you want him to experience now. After you hit your partner there once, twice, Allow him, allow him to recover, which means allow him to diagnose what he feels and what's happening with him. And once he's ready, he comes back to you and you give him another punch. Okay? Uh, again, hammer strike. The trick is, again, to relax your arm and if you can, tense up your fist while you're punching him during the contact. Okay? When we talk about, again, tradition, when we talk about the punches, the punch stops right here. Now, the punch stops when it ends up traveling through his body. Okay, you can generate different feelings, different reactions, different pains. I saw people peeing, involuntarily. Okay, not worry. Okay, so make a fist, and again, how careful spine, find out where it is, and go with the trapezius. Give your partner a couple heavy strikes, but not too hard, and then Allow him to relax. And share. How can I share? <laughs> no, one's no everything you. is... Um, share on Eugene. Open. Share. Yeah. So <laughs> mind's open, everything is open, and there's no no yeah. sensation. Everything is... <laughs> You've lost all the yeah, sensation. Yeah, it, it goes through the spine, through the head, and everything is just opened up. So it's tingling in the hands, he stopped it only at the hands. He didn't drive it down to the ground. Um, at first, it did hit to the ground, but it felt like a bink, you know, right on up to my head. 
so everything is just opened up. And as a result of the effect, those muscles will be less tense, okay? It also cleans up your all over uh, emotional, psychological tension. So uh, don't freak out when the pain goes on. Okay, you have to trust your partner, and when your partner is trusting you, you be careful with the strike. If you're not sure, ask me, I'll show you. Okay. How much you want to bet nobody asks? <laughs> well, I'll be happy without a, without a request anyway. Understood? Yeah, Try it. Where's the way from the same thing? Where do you try? Nice talk. Do one squat on your partner's shoulder, but do it slowly. Okay? I'm 300 pounds. Okay? Relax as much as you can, give a take. Remind, relax, squat all the way down. Where's Sam? <laughs> relax all the way in the bottom. Allow your partner to breathe me oh, oh, yeah. And slowly get up. One time. And then, before he stands up, massage his shoulders, his back. Allow him to relax. Give him a second to recover. Okay. I can't do this one anyway. No, you know he does it. I can't do the squat. squats, soft, relaxed, you want to stay soft, stay in that position, move around him, face him back, but while you do that, think about him as a towel and your arms are wet. Move your arms on his body all over, staying soft. Any part of your arm will do. Front, back, okay? Little by little, we don't have much time left, see how you can land your arm on him with the strikes, okay? Don't go straight for the elbow, okay? you know this part. Do something else. Any part of the elbow can be used. I like that one. How much is that one? <laughs> okay, but first realize, <laughs> that, that, <laughs> realize how, I yielded. how soft you are, how comfortable you are with the movement. Any of those movements result in the in strike. Okay? Don't relax my neck. <laughs> Think about the same strike yeah. into the head. Okay? Just do it for a flip. Uh, there was nothing here you can hurt. Outside, you hit with the muscle. Okay? Harder. 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 Aim solar plex. American boy. Not shoulder. Not shoulder. That part. Harder. Go harder. 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 Nice. Real hard. Your shoulders move. Alright, Jake. Don't go back. In here. 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 In and be able to get contact and not have fear in it. It's, it's great. And my friends, when they see these videos, think something's mentally wrong with me for coming here. But, um, <laughs> in the wrist. You get it a lot. I like uh, delinking the, the, the brain and the body, right? Uh, I mean, or in your perception of pain, which I'm not doing very well. <laughs> but, but, I, but I like trying you know, to, dis, to disconnect it. Because once I relax, it doesn't feel, you know. In actual fact, you probably it didn't. The anticipation of what you were doing to me was worse than what actually happened. So, and that was it. Yeah, I 
could just feel all the tension from here, you know, going out throughout my body, so it was much better now. Yeah. You know, I'm usually taking from Sergey. I'm used to it. I'm expecting it out of nowhere. Um, now it's uh, almost like my turn, you know, transferring that energy in different areas, straight down, crossing. Mm -hmm. um, and that's what I'm starting to experience now. So just transferring that energy on through my body, through another person's body. So my hits are just, you know, we're playing around and I got one guy, a nice uh, you know, liver shot. And it was like, it didn't even go through my liver, it went through the other side of me. <coughs> and these were boxing gloves on, so I'm starting to really get an understanding of transferring that energy right on through people's bodies, so thank you. Um, just the concept of hitting each other to, to relax, people think we're nuts, you know, but it, it really uh, <laughs> hit a wonderful feeling. Yeah. It was really nice, and uh, getting hit is not something you do, so, but... Uh, <laughs> It's interesting feeling to know if you relax enough, you can... Now when a customer calls and I think to myself, I want this guy off of my back, I have an entirely different perspective. <laughs> <laughs> Great practice, thank you. Thank you.